Business activity serves three possible purposes. Number one, to make money, so profit. Number two, to satisfy the needs of customers. And number three, some kind of higher purpose, maybe like a charity. It all begins by spotting an opportunity. The entrepreneur spots an opportunity and then has to work out how to maximise profits. Profits are needed for two reasons. Number one, to fund growth and expansion. And number two, to reward the owners. Um, Every business needs profit to survive and thrive. But if you think of somebody who starts like a, a football team or a sports club for young people, profit might not be the primary objective. Um, there may be a higher purpose. Uh, businesses have to adapt to change, changes in technology, changes in society, changes in tastes and fashions. To do this, they should conduct market research and then adapt and change and develop accordingly. The key thing you have to do in the exam is to look at the type of business that's involved and work out what their purpose is. It could be very different, for example, if it's a PLC compared to a charity, for example. So you've got to, map, you've got to read that and use that in your answers very carefully. Businesses have to keep up to date with what the competition is doing, what their rivals are doing, because this may force them to respond by changing their products or changing their market marketing, for example. This is all linked to the business's aims and objectives, which of course change over time for various reasons, and that's important to understand. The aims and objectives that a business sets itself are very, will be very different in their first year of business compared to, say, three or four years down the line.